Hey, this is Father Robert from Gadget at thetechstop.net, the place where it's always time to get your geek on. I'm here at the Blue Microphones booth at CES 2011, standing next to the beautiful Miss Hillary Cha-Ching Money, <laughs> who's going to tell us a little bit something about, uh, well, the Yeti. Now, this yes. was the Yeti that we saw last year, and it's all grown up. Tell us it about has. the Pro. It has gone professional. So, this is our new Yeti Pro we're announcing here at CES. It has the same features as our original Yeti, so you get the three capsules, you get the four polar patterns, you have the gain control, the direct monitoring, the volume, and the digital mute. It's gone pro. We've added an analog XLR. So if you have an interface at home or you want to take it to a studio, you now have the XLR Absolutely. option. That was the thing about the Yeti. This was a fantastic product when you took a look at it last year because it gave you really good audio yes. for not that much. You could plug it into your computer, do podcasting, and go. Yes. But those uh, who wanted a bit more out of it mm -hmm. were, were kind of bemoaning the loss of the ability to hook it up to a camera or yes. to a, an existing studio solution, yes. and that's what you got with the Pro. And Blue comes from a Pro background, so we listened to our Pro, <laughs> our fellow Pros, and they said they wanted this. The other thing we added to this, and it's an Innovations Award winner, is it will do the highest digital recording resolution. This will go 24-bit, 192K, four times CD quality. Absolutely, and uh, you've even improved the uh, the surfaces. I noticed yes. you've you've gone with a more pro surface, and yes, uh, we have. the buttons aren't the same. Uh, no. One of the complaints, in fact, one of the only major complaints I got from from the Yeti was yes. the the knobs feel kind of plasticky. I mean, it's a firm microphone, and then you you try to adjust it, and you feel like you're going to break it off. Yeah. I don't get that on this. Nope, we've improved the knobs. It's a higher quality, a little tighter. You got a little better on the on the measurements of this, and it's all set to go. Nice. Okay, but it's uh, this was what 149. 149. Oh, what am I going to look at at the pro? 249. All right. Nice. And it will be available this month. What is this? The Mikey? The Mikey for flip. So we have the Mikey for the iPhone, the iPod. We've added to our family the Mikey for flip. So you have a stereo, dual capsule stereo microphone that plugs directly into the bottom of your flip. Nice. So any any of the new flips with a flip port. This is a plug-and-play mic. It gives you enhanced audio, so you catch better audio for your flip videos. Cool features about this, it runs off its own battery, so you're not draining from your flip. Right. It has an auto and a loud setting. So if you're just filming the kids, recital, <laughs> soccer game, and it gets loud, the mic, ooh, the mic will adjust. If you're at a louder venue, recital, concert, you can put it on loud. It also kept the, the tripod stand. A lot of people like to do hands-free yes, recording. thank you, thank you. Another cool feature is the audio in. I was just noticing that. I thought it was a headphone out, but no, it's an audio in. No, it's an audio in ah. on both mics. So on this one, you can do a lav mic or an interview mic, which Flip didn't allow you to do. Mikey for Flip essentially turns into an interface. That's one of the biggest drawbacks of those little cameras, which are mm -hmm. fantastic because yep. they're inexpensive, they're easy to use, but the audio always sucks. So what you've done is not just give them a nice microphone, but you've given them a way to hook up, say, like one of our wireless labs yes. and, uh, and get that high-quality audio along with the simple video. Exactly. Price points? The Mikey for iPhone is 79 The Mikey for Flip, which will be out this spring, 69 Okay. And if they wanted to find out more about this or any of the other Blue Microphones products, where should they go? To bluemic.com. Thank you, Hillary. Thank you Thanks for spending the time. And you stay with us because we've got more CES goodness coming right at you.